All right, guys, so today let's review Trucks, which is a 1997 made-for-TV movie based on the Stephen King book. And I don't remember if the book was called Trucks or if it was called Maximum Overdrive, but we also had Maximum Overdrive uh, before this movie. And it's interesting because Trucks is pretty much the exact same movie as Maximum Overdrive. But honestly, it, it's so weird because Maximum Overdrive is a movie that I remembered thinking was fine, like it was okay, but I'm liking it a little more just as the more I've thought about it and the more it's sat with me, that movie I've enjoyed a little more. And I, I, I do like that movie. I think it's fun and I, I enjoy it. But watching Trucks, which is basically just the same movie again, but played straight, really, really did not work in its favor because I thought that this movie was pretty terrible. And, and I, it's bad. There's been two movies recently that I've said have been pretty terrible on my channel. I can't believe it. I try not to be too negative about movies, but oh my God, I could not stand this one. This movie is almost the exact same as Trucks, except for there's no funny moments. It is a movie where it is played completely straight, and it is just completely boring and uninteresting. There is nothing in this movie that I thought was fascinating or fun, besides one moment, I guess, now that I think about it. And that's the moment where this guy uh, is, trips, is tripped over by a toy tow truck, and then... Uh, or Troy dump truck and like he falls over and it starts like his head's right here where my head is the truck's right here the pavement's right here the truck goes boom and just hits his head on the pavement while he falls on the ground that was kind of funny but besides that everything else is just played so boring that it honestly feels so incredibly pointless especially because you've got maximum overdrive which i thought was more a more fun and of course, this movie is trying to be a serious version of it, which really, to me, just did not work. I really didn't like it, like that about this movie either. It really just did not satisfy me with anything interesting. Like there was no, there was no interest. All these characters are boring or annoying. There's this character who, this teenage girl, who's like begs everybody to get a cigarette. She's trying to get off cigarettes, and it's just so annoying like she just I couldn't stand her and everybody else was so paper thin that there was nobody to root for nobody to care for it's also so strange too because again it's a remake of this I guess the story whatever it's called and Maximum Overdrive and it's weird because I wonder if this is the case where Stephen King directed Maximum Overdrive and he was on every drug while making that movie so maybe he Maybe he worked with the team to make this movie, kind of like he did with the Shining TV movie, which I have not seen yet, the six-hour epic that they made for that three movie nights uh, whenever it came out in 97, I believe, um, which, funny enough, this came out in 97 as well. But it's it's hilarious that they they did this movie again, but more boring, but I wonder if that's what Stephen King wanted. Maybe he wanted to make a movie... Or have them make a movie that was better than his. Because he didn't like his movie. It's the only movie he's directed. Maximum Overdrive. So I wonder if he went up to, to the studios and was like. Hey make a movie better than the one I did. Because I didn't like that one. Which I could see. Because again I I remember hearing that he didn't like his Maximum Overdrive film. Because of what. Because of all the stuff he was on. He Like that movie is just so interesting in its own right and this movie just lacks everything interesting and you can see that i'm skirting around talking about this movie because there's nothing else to say there's no interesting characters there's no real fun in it again besides that one moment with the little dump truck it it really there's nothing else that i can remember, even remember remotely interesting or fascinating about it it's not fun or interesting and I thought it just never ended it was only an hour and a half movie but it legitimately just sitting there like this is and I really don't say this much about a movie but this is worthless like to me like there's n almost nothing that I could enjoy about it at all like there's no reason I want to ever rewatch this maybe I might in the future for a review or something but not for any reason to just watch it like i i would if i maybe had something else to do with this with stephen king like in a video but i would not watch this on my own volition unless it's for like a reason like that again 
it just it lacked everything. It was just so uninteresting, so boring, uh, so formulaic, and the exact same as Maximum Overdrive, but just played serious. So it's dull and just uninteresting. <laughs> so again, I was not a fan. I did not like this one at all. Uh, tell me down below if you guys like this movie. I I want to see people who do. I I hope that people like this movie. I don't, but I'm I'm ready to see other people who do. So tell me down below if you like or dislike this movie, or if you've even heard of this movie, because this movie was again a TV movie. I got this in a six pack from Walmart with Stephen King movies adaptations, and I liked some of the other ones in that six pack, but this is the worst that I've seen on it so far on that in that six pack. So, again, tell me down below what you guys think of this movie and thanks for watching.